Hi, this is Rick Rogers. I am a therapist, a social worker, addictions, and trauma counselor. Uh, today, I want to talk about like uh, what to expect when attending a therapy appointment. First and foremost, if you schedule an appointment with a therapist, therapist, not a therapist, please make sure you either attend the appointment or cancel it outside of 24 hours. If you decide that you don't want therapy anymore, make sure you cancel the appointment because that is uh, food off the therapist's plate and also that's a time slot that maybe another patient that is struggling uh, would might want to take. So please uh, don't set up an appointment and not attend or cancel appointment. Um, it's just irresponsible. Uh, so next on the list is what to expect the first session. Well, my first session, I basically tell you, uh, number one, uh, what, uh, what can be reported, what is mandated to be reported. So thoughts of uh, intention for suicide, homicide, child abuse, sexual abuse, elder abuse. Those are uh, things that I have to report or warn people about. Uh, so I'll ask any questions about that. Um, that isn't to say lie if you're having suicidal thoughts. Uh, it's just that if you're having suicidal thoughts, maybe it's important for you to get a higher level of care until those suicidal thoughts. Uh, intention, it's more intention, not thoughts. Um, yes, thoughts can lead to an intention, but like I'm not really looking for thoughts because people have thoughts. But if I suspect that you are at a high level of, uh, or high uh, risk of suicide or homicide, I'll probably ask you to go inpatient or kick it up a level. Um, and inpatient don't, usually only takes a couple days. It just depends on the person, depends on the problem. And uh, so, yeah, I think... Uh, I think the next step is basically what I do is just, hey, tell me why you're in treatment. So I think it's important before you go in to articulate why you're looking for counseling. There might be a lot of things going on. I like people that write it down so they're more organized. That way, if I have a better idea about why you're in uh, counseling, I work with you to come up with a plan to solve that problem. Um, and so I think, yeah, it's really important to come up with goals. And yeah, I know some places uh, the goals aren't really set for about four sessions in. Um, usually during my therapy, I'll, I'll talk to you and brainstorm what we can do and uh work with you on coming up with a goal and I'll tell you too or coming up with a, a plan whether it be using a specific behavioral therapy whether it be changing your environment whatever and two um, when you're uh, I I'd also let you know that if what we're doing isn't working maybe we need to change it up so like tell me if it's not working uh, I might have you fill out some assessments this is beforehand too uh, usually, I'd have you fill out some assessments. Uh, one's a PHQ-9, which measures depression. One's the AG-87, measures anxiety. And then maybe the PCL-5, which kind of measures PTSD or trauma. Yeah, I think uh, that stuff is important for me to get an idea of what you're going through. And it helps with the goal setting. So please, before the session, make sure you fill out those assessments and um the intake form telling me uh all this information where you work at how uh, you know I, I might me personally i like to talk about like what your upbringing like i like to get into that um because i believe your uh upbringing has a lot to do with how you behave and react to things now uh, so i like to get an idea of that uh, discuss alcohol and drug history. Do you have any? Have you never had any? How do you cope with things? What works for you now? 
what has worked you, with for you in past therapies? Uh, just kind of figuring out what your strengths are and figuring out what your needs are. And that's basically what I do during a session, uh, during the first session, is I gather information and come up with a plan and gather all the information I can. It is important to be open, honest, and willing, but I'm not going to push you to tell me all your deepest, darkest, darkest secrets on the first session because my goal is to create a relationship. Um, there is what's called a therapeutic relationship, and that's the most important thing in therapy. So my number one priority is creating a relationship with you. Uh, maybe it's something you're de that you might be missing, and if you're missing that, that might be part of your goals. And so creating this therapeutic relationship hopefully builds more rapport and trust. Um, but I also want you to focus on what works. So if something's not working, I want to find something that works. Meaning, what can help the depression or anxiety become more manageable. And um, so that's pretty much it. It's That's what therapy with me is all about in the first session is gathering information, creating a rapport, creating a plan. And then as treatment goes on, I might have you redo the assessments to see if it's gotten better, if it's getting worse, if it's staying the same. That way we know if the treatment and the plan is working. If it's not working, we need to change it up. And also, as we go on, you might start telling me things you didn't feel comfortable telling me at first. But I want you to get to a point where you realize that facing your stuff is going to take a load off your shoulders. Accepting your stuff that you have hidden down, your luggage, unpacking your luggage is going to create a lot more uh, freedom for you. I want you to realize that and helping somebody analyze and identify how these things affect you. Also, thanks for watching. Stay in and peace. And uh, peace out.